Anyway, we're still at this Rose Hill Cemetery, just cutting this up into sections here. One thing I wanted to talk about is being able to read subtle energy. And that's one thing that I've always strided to teach my students is to recognize subtle energies. What is a subtle energy? Just vibrations like feeling um, what somebody feels like, like your lover or your friend. Do they have good energy or do they bring you down? Um, how about, like, I'm tuning into all these children here. I'm feeling a lot of kids, so I'm feeling the subtle energy of these um, eternal beings that may not have physical bodies anymore, but they have that same vibration. You know, I'm sure a lot of you have had some loved one that is passed on, and you might have recognized sometimes, like, recognized their scent, or a light might have flickered, or a feeling came over you where you thought of them, and you just felt that love. Those are reading subtle energies. That's real stuff. So with all the changes that are going on through, through 2011 to 2012, it's so important to get to know what energy feels like. Being aware on it, seriously, on a daily basis, just tuning in and feeling how you feel, first of all. How do you feel today? You know, what is, what is your, what are your senses telling you? What do you feel? What are, you, what are you hearing in your head, whether it's your, your mental talking or thoughts that are coming in? What are you seeing in the world around you? Are you seeing things that feel good or are you seeing distress? Um, what are you knowing within you? What's a knowing that you have right now that, that you just don't know why you're even thinking about it or, or you just keep getting these messages? That's all tuning into your senses and your subtle energies and that's going to tell you how your day's going. So, we're having some subtle wind energy at the moment. Um, that right there will help you on a daily basis because then you'll know what you need to do to feel better. If, are you, if you're feeling good, hey, it's good. Energy's good. But if you're feeling off or you're feeling confused or you're feeling um, frustrated, depressed, or very unclear, that's a, that is a huge um, sign that you need to get grounded and clear your energy. And um, getting grounded, just getting out in nature and walking or putting your feet in sand or in water or sitting up against a tree, just getting outside will help you get back in tune with Mother Nature, which is your natural way that you want to do. You want to be in touch with Mother Nature. Like if you can go to a beach and just close your eyes and hear the waves come in and out and let your body and your mind and all your senses get in sync with that. Um, that's the best thing to get grounded in it. It will clear your head. And then, instead of focusing on your problems, focus on asking for solutions. If you keep thinking about what's wrong, you're just having, you're going to create more of what's wrong. So you want to, the best you can, say, okay, I know what I don't want. What do I, what do I want? Get really clear on that. And when you're having a lot of, um, let's call it contrast in your life, when you're getting a lot of what you don't want, that is just the universe helping you, pushing you with all its might to get so clear with what you do want. So take the hint and remember the, peace, um, the path to the least resistance um, is the way you want to go. Archangel Raphael told me a long time ago in a reading for someone, I'll never forget this, that you never want to swim upstream unless you are of the salmon fish family. And if I'm talking to you, um, you're probably not a Sam. So you always want to imagine your life going downstream and, and taking life as it is. Nothing is good or bad. It just is. It is what it is. And whatever it is, you've had part in creating it. So now you have to recreate or upgrade if that's what you want. Unless it's really good, keep doing what you're doing. But anyway, getting in tune with subtle energies, that's what's going to help you with step number one of not only this road 2011 to 2012, but beyond. Because we are all energetic, vibrating beings, and you must get in touch with what subtle energies are around you to help you decide what you need to do, either clear it or keep it, or change it in a way that's going to nurture or support your um, path. Subtle energies. Got to do it.